Hey, welcome to webisode two of They Said What? A little vlog where each episode I will systematically break down a song and video and explain why I personally believe they never should have been made. And this time, it's a doozy. A veritable steamer, if you will. And that song is Dark Horse by Katy Perry featuring Juicy J. Now, before I break into and play anything, I feel there's something I must say. In my 20s, I did a lot of LSD. No, I mean a lot. Like, seriously absurd amounts. That's what I'm talking about. Like, one time, I was mistaken for an entire family of ducks. And it kind of made sense. Another time, every time I walked around a corner, anywhere, I expected to see a time-traveling, interdimensional robot waiting for me. This video makes moments like that make sense and seem understandable. Now, as a little preparation for myself to have to go through this arduous task, I've prepared a little something to kind of ease the pain and, and make things go down easier. A crazy long time ago? Was this written by a nine-year-old? Uh -huh. Y'all know what it is. Katy Perry. Juicy J. Uh-huh. Well, it's got a good beat. I'll give it that one. Just as long as there's no ridiculous over the top dancing, it might be salvageable. In the palm of your hand now, baby. So just be sure. Boy, you should know what you're for. You should know. Baby, do you dare to do this? And there goes that right out the window. Come on, Katie, at least give us some good lyrics, please. Some some well thought out, well crafted words that that will really pull things back. Make me In the words of South Park's Sheila Broflovsky, what what what? Make me so you're essentially Cleopatra, an Egyptian queen. And you feel this is a good time to drop a Greek mythology reference? How many people in production heard that and went, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> Am I the only one to catch this? Oh! <sighs> Maybe the chorus will redeem the song. So you want to play with magic, boy, you should know what you're falling for. Baby, do you dare to do this? Cause I'm coming at you like a dark horse. <sighs> Can someone please explain to Katie what the term dark horse means? Whether you're Cleopatra, queen of the Nile, or Katy Perry, queen of this shit pile, you are not an underdog. Unless we're talking about you writing a decent song. Okay, I won't even break into you rhyming words like levitate 
and cage, because I'm trying to keep this under 20 minutes. But like a bird without a cage. So you mean like a bird? Lines like that bother me. Even on those horrible CSI style shows, which I consider to be the episodic drama equivalent of a Katy Perry song, you'll never hear a cop ask what a suspect looked like just to have the interviewee say, uh, he was a man without a cigarette. It doesn't happen. You are using something that should be and naturally is foreign to the subject to describe the subject. And as for the mouth bling, I can actually relate to that because earlier on tonight I had a little bit of mouth bling going on myself. <laughs> then there's Juicy J. I've done two reviews to date and he's in both songs. And it's not purposeful, just highly coincidental that he's in two songs that I find horrible and incredibly flawed. But let's see what he brings to this song. Maybe I have him pegged wrong. I don't know. She's a beast. I call her karma. She eats your heart out like Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, or not. Odd enough, the Dahmer line, it kind of makes a little bit of sense. I mean, it's creepy and disturbing, but historically, Cleopatra was known to be a bit of a man-eater, figuratively at least. But calling a woman a beast? Juicy. Come on. But uh, at least you've got your good looks to fall back on, right? That fairy tale ending with a night and shiny armor. She can be my sleeping beauty. I'm gonna put her in a coma. <sighs> okay, I'm awake. Regrettably, but I'm awake. Uh, now, Juicy, that whole coma line, uh, I still don't know if it had to do with you explaining the way that you rap, or it's some kind of horrible foreshadowing to abuse. I really don't know. I don't want to dive into it. But as I said, I find Juicy J incredibly boring as a rapper. And for a while, I didn't know why. Until I dissected it, and to help illustrate why I find it boring, I've created a little poem. Roses are red, violets are blue, I find you boring, formulaic too. Like, serious, the whole A, B, C, B rhyme scheme, a lot of people do it. I get it. Maybe I'm spoiled by Eminem. I don't know, because that guy doesn't follow that rhyme scheme, and if he does, guarantee it won't be for the rest of his song. <laughs> you, Juicy, that's pretty much all I hear from you. You are the epitome of A, B, C, B rhyming. The stuff you learn in grade three. Like, come on, you're a professional. You're supposed to do better than that. And... Well, folks, that is the end of the webisode, They Said What, uh, of Dark Horse featuring Juicy J, done by Katy Perry. Now, if there's two things that I've learned from this webisode, uh, one, I need to start mixing my poison a lot stronger. Uh, number two, apparently the Egyptians were the first ones to do country line dancing. Who'd have thunk? <laughs> my name's Dave Kemp. Please subscribe and like and follow whatever else you want to do, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for listening. Oh no, oh no, not me. I did it my